Hi, uh, today we will cover the active record uh, design pattern. This active record design pattern belongs to data source architectural patterns and uh, this data source architectural patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First we will see the explanation of active record design pattern. Uh, this is the first explanation. An object that wraps a row in a database table or view and encapsulates the database access and add domain logic on the data. So you will see one example uh, so that uh, you will understand this point. So to explain this uh, design pattern, uh, I have taken person table and the person table contains last name, first name, number of dependents, uh, three columns and it contains uh, two rows. First row represent uh, Joe information and uh, second row represent the Goni information. Okay. So, if uh, for this particular person table, if you want to create a class which maps this uh, uh, last name, first name and the number of dependents, then uh, it will be look like uh, this. Uh, it will have uh, like person class and uh, last name, uh, first name, number of dependents. This last name variable uh, maps to last name column, first name variable maps to first name column number of dependents uh, maps to number of uh, dependents columns okay and uh, plus uh, the, as per the active record design pattern uh, it will have method for uh, insert data in the database uh, table and update uh, table information and it will have uh, some uh, method to select uh, record from the database table uh, so it, it contains the data act, database access methods and uh, plus it can have some uh, domain logic uh, methods like uh, get exemption is flat for audit get taxable earnings okay now if you read uh, this point you will understand an object that wraps a row in a database table or view so what does it mean uh, suppose uh, if we create a uh, object that represent this first row then it will look like this this is a person object which represent this first row joe john and two and uh, if we create a uh, object that represent uh, this row then it will look like this so each row one person object will be there okay so that is this point an object that wraps a row in a database table or view and encapsulates the database access what does it mean so that object will have method to uh, access the database uh, table records okay like insert update select delete and also it can have uh, domain logic uh, domain logic that acts on the data so these are the domain logic uh, methods okay and next point is uh, object that carries both data and behavior so the object it has data plus behavior okay and third point is the data structure of active record should exactly match uh, match that of the database table so what does it mean so this is the active record okay person uh, class and from that we can create the person object so whatever fields are there that should exactly match with the database table so if you see we have last name variable that exactly match with the last name column like that first name number of dependents okay and uh, active record is a good choice for domain logic uh, that isn't too complex uh, we can choose this active record uh, design pattern if uh, uh, the domain logic is not too much complex it's like some simple calculation and all then we can go for this active record design pattern and uh, third uh, fourth point is uh, each active record is responsible for saving and loading to the database and also any domain logic that acts on the data so if you see this one uh, this is the active uh, record and uh, it is responsible for saving the information and uh, update and loading the information plus it it has a domain logic that acts on the data okay and uh, next point is active record is very similar to 
row data data gateway uh, so i explained row data gateway uh, design pattern in another video uh, you can watch uh, what is row data gateway design pattern and then if you come and uh, re, uh, see this one you can understand okay uh, last point the principal difference in the row data gateway uh, con contains only database access while the active record contains both database access and domain logic uh, like i mentioned row data gateway design pattern i explained in another video you can watch and so that you can understand what is row data gateway design pattern then if you come and uh, see this one you can understand the difference between both so so what here they are, we are uh, telling is like uh, row data gateway contains only database access so row data as per the row data gateway uh, design pattern uh, this person class and the person object whatever we create out of that class will contain only uh, the data plus uh, database access it won't contain the domain logic but active records contains uh, data uh, database access plus uh, domain uh, domain logic which acts on the data so this is about active record uh, design pattern uh, thanks for watching